Is it wild coming back here? Like, just overload memories of different spots and... No, but I was gonna say something. It was uh, about all that shit when you're overloaded. Yeah. And you feel like that. Uh, you shouldn't have nervous breakdowns. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have those things in a... In a... Uh, you can fix it, you know? I don't know if you know that. But, uh... Yeah, it's your breathing. In yoga. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. I'm just telling that for, uh... Because of what you were telling me, right? Yeah. I did. So when you freak out and hey, all this shit, it's, uh, it's, then you get much better. But I think that's the science to life, baby. I don't know. Seriously. If you've ever been at rock bottom, you know it's pretty much the worst thing in the entire world. When I was a kid, I cracked my head open. Everybody was wondering, whoa, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with David? Why is he so depressed? It turned out I had a traumatic brain injury. And the doctors just pumped me with antidepressants. So when I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom. I used to boogie board fucking with my broken arm. Shit. And you try to better your situation versus just making it the same. Domino effect, you know? I'm absolutely bored with the status quo. I chased my dreams. Started to find happiness again. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously when there's waves, start right around the sunrise. And I said no more to the pills. Oh. It wasn't about like best guy out there is more or less just surviving. I mean, it all ties into surfing and skateboarding and our, and our addictive personalities in a way, don't you think? And I kept searching for inspiration to find the positive. I even lived in a storage unit next to an artist man with a dog with three legs when I went back home. And then I go back to California and back home, and I built a home. I met a lady, I went to Australia, I lost the lady. But that trip, those trips to California, that special lady, these mentors, these people, they helped me find the magic water. And the magic water saved me because, well, 99.9% .9 of the time you go surfing, you feel better that you're on this planet. The planet that's in outer space, that spins around. And we get to surf in outer space. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet if you got into that, you could really tap into your creative trip too. I mean, I don't know, I've been trying to do it. I do it a little bit, I'm, I know. I've known about it for a long time, and then now I've gotten to do it, and I force myself to do it, uh, and it's like the nicest thing ever, and then you just see what that brings to you in your life, oh, it's just like the best, I mean, so whatever it is, um, like you're saying, I help you out. Like you're saying you have panic attacks, right? Yeah, yeah. Nervous anxiety. Yeah, heavy. Like in grocery stores, there's certain places that are weird triggers for it. Really? Yeah, man. It's a fucking trip. And I think I'm totally over it, you know? And then it's a trapped feeling. Like I have no escape from that. And where if I would just sit down and breathe, I would be all right. Because times I've had to do that, because I know, you know, that's the only way I can get through the panicky feeling. But they they say that, yeah, any time that relieves you of stress.
But in life, the universe throws you crazy waves. And this last summer, I was hit with a big one. My best friend as a child, Daniel Palmer, killed himself. He sent me the suicide note. And like myself, Daniel never fit in the box. Zap! Little Dave, what's happening, man? It's Daniel. I'm up here in the heavens. Yeah, seems kind of weird. It's kind of like it might be a dream or something. But, you know, basically, I'm sending you on a journey, my friend. And you're going to have to enjoy it. But it's a reward for getting out and doing it. Making the best of it. I'll watch over you. Watch the neighbor lady garden. But I'm going to take you to the past. So you can fight them demons. That's what you need to do, little man. see the birds flying in the air. And then, when you find the positive, you'll teleport back. Start up. And if you grind a tree, you'll teleport to your old local wave, the bone. And you gotta skate. You see, little Dave, you just gotta fight the demons by breathing, like what Nathan said. Make a left on Lake City Way. Oh, and little Dave, if you wanna teleport back to the sunshine, you need to put your magic shades on. to lick my toe. Its eyes looked at me right in my eyes and I thought, oh man, this is real. So I just jumped up and I thought, oh man, where'd the snake go? The snake was gone and you know what? You only live once. So I thought, oh, and then right then, Ozzy wrong. I mean, no, Ozzy right came out of the bushes with his family and they were going surfing and I thought, man, there's really no way. So maybe I shouldn't go surf with him. I don't know what I'm doing. I just saw this snake. Maybe I'll get my camera. So I videoed. And I just sat on the beach on holiday. When my girlfriend cleaned houses down the street. You know, Sundays. It was my beach day. And now I'm not scared of snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. 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 Sorry you hit your head again, little Dave. But it's not a dream. You really have fought the demons. And look, you're in your backyard. Oh man, it sure looks nice out. I could have swore it was snowing when I walked to the beach. I didn't grow up near the ocean. And my pops always told me that there was nowhere to surf in the state that we lived in. So... I just read the magazines and dreamt about it. But as time went on and I found myself struggling on this planet, I had to chase those dreams. And the water is really what saved me. The magic water. I'm hitting one of those rough patches again in life. 
I had to let go of the girl in Australia. And I'm heartbroken. But I'm realizing you can't control your destiny. You really only have to take it as it comes. You have no idea what the universe has planned for you. But if you find things that make you happy, those combat the things that make you sad. And you're the only one who has the choice to be happy or sad. I want to be happy. See you in the morning. I'm happy. 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 I'm